Planet Dolan. From water expiring to delays that might be in mirrors, we answer your most burning- Hey there guys, I'm Danger Dolan's mysterious brother and I'm here to blow your mind with truth! I'm Danger Dolan and I'm here to, uh, no? You, you gotta read it, um, okay? Harry Wood asks, why is the Leaning Tower of Pisa leaning? The tower was originally built with a walking stick at its side, but over the years it's worn away, and with age, the tower's knees have developed arthritis. It's alright though, we're building something that might help. Wrong, actually, so wrong. Did you do any research? Well, that's the point, I'm not... It's not... Well, what did you come up with, genius? The Tower of Pisa was originally built on soft ground over the course of 344 years. Um. And we only realised later on that it would have difficulty supporting the weight of 14,500 tonnes. No. But we've recently stabilised the lean and it's been partially fixed. Incorrect. Ugh. Kendall Page asks, what would happen if the moon fell onto Earth? It would hit the Earth and merge into it, enhancing the planet's size, giving it sexy abs, huge guns, and a more defined chin. Little blue planet. Not anymore, my alien invading friends. We left. We left. Clap, clap. Great joke, Dolan. But guess what? The collision actually would cause the two to merge and form a new super Earth but only after causing magma to engulf the planet and extinguish all life first. The oceans would boil and the angle of our poles would change in their rotation. But eventually after millions of years, we'd come out with a bigger water covered earth. Clap, clap, great facts, brother. But guess what? What? You're a sponge. What was that? I said, I said you're, you're a sponge. Oh, forget it. Mariam Ahmed asks, can water expire? It depends if the water came from the tap or a cow's udder. Tap water is just ocean water that's been put through a sieve a couple of times to remove the bacteria. Never expires. Bovine water typically comes from cows who never learned how to produce milk. But everyone is too embarrassed to correct them. This milk expires before it even comes out the udder. Ugh. Water can't go back. Which is why most bottled water doesn't have expiry dates. However, the packaging itself and other environmental factors do cause the water to deteriorate. Bottled water stored in the pantry or fridge generally lasts two years or so. It's not recommended to drink bottled water once it's been frozen and thawed though, because it's likely to contain chemicals. Ordon the Gamer asks, why do we have unique fingerprints? Because nobody can agree on a uniform fingerprint design. Everyone has an opinion. People with left swirls want recognition. Those with dome squiggles aren't represented enough. And don't get me started on snowflake designs. For that, I'll need to explain what Tumblr is. Humans have a DNA structure that combined both parents' genes together for a completely new genetic pattern, which explains variations in body height, hair color, intelligence, and all the rest. Fingerprints are controlled by genes and the environments in which we develop, leading to an almost infinite number of variations. I guess that explains why your fingerprints are so different to mine. Oh, mmm, that's right. Josh Bernstein asks, is anything bigger than the universe? My heart. I give to charities. I provide homes for orphans. Yeah, right, you turd. Shh. You know that hole in the ozone layer? Who do you think fixed that? These things don't just happen. It takes love from a prominent personality to shed light on a series. That wasn't you. We phased out aerosol in the 1980s. What are you, out of your mind? You want, mate? You want to go? I'll deck ya. Swearing our mum. The universe encompasses everything we see and know. So while that pretty much covers the answer, it may be possible that there are multiverses, which is the idea of multiple universes existing either outside our own plane of reality or sharing the space with us simultaneously. I'm sorry if that just made your head explode. I'm Roflo asks, are there delays in mirrors? There totally is, especially in Australia. We have to deal with 200 microseconds of lag because the cloud service that hosts those mirror reflections are based in the States. Thanks, Obama. But there is a delay in mirrors, doofus. 
Where's Shima? I want Shima back. It's Shima. She lets me express myself. Due to the way light travels, it takes seven billionths of a second or seven nanoseconds for the light you see reflected to bounce back to the same point. But it's so quick that you'll never notice it. Hey, what was that? Nothing, it, it was nothing. Al Bering and Itze Hernandez ask, why is water blue? Well, maybe it's just having a real bad day, all right? Maybe it has some things going on in its personal life that it doesn't want to share. Whaling, oil leaks, global hotting up. Still with some real serious issues. You just don't understand. Hashtag ocean lives matter. It's for the same reason the sky is blue. The sun shines white light down onto our planet and the blue color bounces around more than the other colors, which is then featured prominently in the oceans and skies. Both for the same reason, but they occur independently. Mini Marasmus San asks, what if every tree disappeared? Well, look, someone obviously said something that offended them. Look, I'm not pointing fingers. Right over there, it's my brother's fault. All I heard was him saying something about making look a tree, something about leaving. Not naming names, but him. It was him. It's his fault. Despite the popular belief that we'd completely run out of oxygen, it would still be around but severely reduced, and we'd all need to wear gas masks to breathe. In addition, agriculture would vanish because there'd be too many toxins in the dirt. There would also be a lot less rain and we'd die out fast. So long story short, it'd make for a pretty crummy weekend. I'm on to you. What did you do with all the trees? Don't be ridiculous. It's not logistically possible to harvest all the trees in the world and corner the market on oxygen production because that would make you rich. Rich! Merrick Wood asks, what causes love or hatred? Usually a cat. Oh, hey, you look like you could use a good pet. Oh, nah, you wanna kill me. Yeah, fair enough. But now you look at me like that and I just wanna cuddle. Ah! This is an ideal. Alright, you can't purr when you're blinding me. Oh, that's what you want. Okay. I'll get your food, shall I? Nah, didn't think so. We develop them as we become humans. They're predictable responses to situations to help us react in the appropriate way to things like being attacked by someone or sacrificing a piece of cake for your young sister. It makes us grow and develop further. Pets Gigi Was Up asks, can you have too much oxygen inside you? There's actually a life glitch where if you take in a deep breath through your mouth, breathe out through your nose and breathe to your mouth again, your lungs will expand without limit until you get so big that you encompass the entire planet. And people tell you to stop, which you should probably do because you're bothering everyone, you jerk. In many cases, getting extra oxygen might save your life, like when you've been severely hurt, but receiving too much extra oxygen can cause problems. It may strip molecules of electrons in your body, which then might react badly to vital DNA and protein, which might damage or kill them if you're flooding your body with too much unnecessary oxygen. Oh, hey, are we still talking about life hacks? I know a life hack. <gasps> really? Tell me. Yeah, it's called being quiet. It's <laughs> not that much of a hack. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good cool one! Hashtag oh. <laughs> Hashtag oh, Damn it! <laughs> Are you serious? <clears throat> Hashtag <laughs> Hashtag Ocean Lives Matter <laughs>